Core stability or core stiffness works to reduce uh, many types of back pain and uh, enhances performance through three primary mechanisms. I will illustrate those now. The first concept is you need proximal stability or stiffness to enable distal mobility. So if I wanted to move my finger, I had to stiffen my wrist. If I want to move and create force through my hand and my wrist, I had to stiffen the elbow. Otherwise, I would fall apart uh, proximally. So we would see at the hip, uh, for example, using a uniarticular muscle like iliacus, when it contracts, it flexes the hip, but it also bends the pelvis towards the, uh, the femur, creating a uh, high stress on the spine, but also reducing performance. But if the torso is locked down 100% of that muscle activity, is directed distal to the joint. Uh, you can't even walk without appropriate uh, core stiffness. Your spine would just bend as you stood on one leg. The second concept is that uh, core stiffness through strategic coordination of all the muscles in the torso that form a guide wire system enable it to bear high load. Here is a model of a spine. Let's put in a lumbar curve and a thoracic curve. And there is a compressive load or thrust line down through the spine. I'm just going to decrease the compressive load through the wire and slacken it off. And you will see that the spine collapses. So without the muscles stiffening, the spine would collapse under uh, compressive loading. And we've measured that, uh, actually, in uh, uh, athletes and uh, uh, regular people. The third reason why uh, core uh, stiffness through muscle activation is a non-negotiable uh, requirement, uh, look at this model created by Dynamic Disc Designs where the disc has been damaged. Uh, it may have a little bit of a disc bulge or an end plate defect. Uh, but for whatever reason, that joint has now lost a little bit of stiffness. If I apply load to the spine like this, you can see that the majority of the motion now occurs at the lax joint that has been injured, and the joint above and the joint below with uh, normal stiffness doesn't have the aberrant micro movements. And it's those micro movements over time that will focus stress on parts at the joint uh, to, uh, to create pain. So you can see the micro movements occurring at the joint that has lost its appropriate stiffness. Uh, those are uh, mechanisms linking loss of stability uh, and uh, stiffness to pain and decrements in performance.